Hello and welcome to today's recording on how to register a new account on LifeFile. My name is Beatrice Edwards, um, co-founder of LifeFile, and I am uh, here to answer hopefully any questions that you possibly have and show you more about what LifeFile can do for you. Just a quick run through, LifePal is a social networking platform that lets you share your memories, connect with others, make new friends. Um, it also has a public directory where you can, right here, where you can list your business to help with um, getting found online. And any questions at all that you have after watching this video, please go ahead and click the contact us button right here and send us a message. Today, I am going to be registering a new account as Jane Doe. My username is going to be Jane Doe Test. You do have the option of putting anything you want here for username as long as it has not been taken by anyone else. Um, it would be available for you. I am going to use my business email address, Beatrice at the .com, and I am going to put down A generic password okay once you click the sign up button you are going to be required to choose your sex which would either be male female or other you can elect to not be anything right now um, or you can in my case be female for date of birth we do require you need to be 16 and older Anyone who would like to join LifePal who is under the age of 16, please go ahead and send us a message using the contact us option. And um, we would require that you express as the parent or guardian why you would like your kid to have um, an account with us. And um, we would go ahead and consider this option on an individual basis. Okay. So for birthday, I am just going to go ahead and fill mine in here. You can choose to expressively agree to receive the newsletter but, um, or not. But what is required is for you to understand that by creating your account, you agree to our terms as well as a privacy policy for this platform. Okay. Now, getting your account set up is as easy as one, two, three. So the getting started section, which is step one, is just one way for us to get to know you a little more we do have the welcome message here welcome Jane first thing you want to do is that with a photo if you do not want to put a photo in click on the next step and answer the next questions below now this question this this one here you cannot skip for a country wherever you are located please go ahead and put that information in here I am in the United States and I am in Des Moines Iowa where is my hometown I am going to leave that blank um, work title you can leave this options here blank there will be the option to go back and fill that out um, but please if there is information you would like to share with me or other members of the community please go ahead and do so. Recommended next option would be next step. In step three, we're going to ask that if you would like to add friends on, so you start seeing information on your newsfeed right away, based on list, latest activities from our popular users, these are the people we recommend that you send friend requests out to. Now this does change. It is not always the same person. So if, um, John is signing up, you're not going to see the same information displayed in step three as Matthew or Sarah. Everyone's going to have different options for um, friends to invite. And that is all. You just hit finish and it takes you to the timeline. For you to be able to do anything on here, we do require that you complete the activation process. If maybe you type the wrong email in or you never got the email, we would recommend you choose, you go to your spam folder to um, look for the verification email or you can request for it to be resent or you can change the email that you want it sent out to. You do have the option to add stories. You do have the option to say what is on your mind. 
At this point, this is pretty much the only thing you're going to be able to do till you verify your information. Before you can interact with other users, you need to confirm your email address. So once again, once that information is confirmed, the floor is yours. To go back in after your information has been verified and you want to backtrack now and update more information on your profile now that you've seen what LifeFile is all about, you just go over here to your profile. You can add information here. First name, last name. You can update your relationship status, your country, your website. You can write a little bit about you. Um, work, location, education. If you don't want to do that, you can also just go to what I clicked here was profile. You can just click profile and it would bring you here. Right now, I'm at 12.5% completion on my profile. And you can just follow these steps and it will let you know what to do next to get your profile ready to share with others. You can add a profile picture, add a profile cover, add your biography. I already added a birth date, relationship status, work information, location information, and your education information. Here you would see any friends you have following you, files that you have uploaded to your um, timeline. You can create albums, any videos you've shared, any likes that you have, any group that you're a part of, and any events that you have published. All that information would be on here. So, that being said, remember, after you do the simple three-step registration, the next thing you want to do is go to your email address. Your, e your actual email and click the link in your email that says complete the activation process. Now, just a reminder, LifeFile is free. There is an option to upgrade your, um, your profile if you are a business and you would like to advertise. But again, you can do so much with your free account. Okay, um, Every day we do posts. On the LifePal, on the LifePal page, we do post something motivational every day or information, educational and funny. Um, you can go to, you can explore different people that are part of LifePal. You can send friend requests. You can see requests that you've sent. You can look at different pages that are registered on here. When you do register your page, if you have a business, it will be on the My Pages option, so you don't have to scroll through here, or you can just tap it here in the Search option. Here you can go check out the different groups that are registered on LifeFile. You can come in here and create an event or look for an event going on in, in your area you want to be a part of. There's various blogs for you to read. And you can also share a blog post if you're an advanced user. There are various movies for you to watch over here. Every month we try to put anywhere from three to four different videos. And these are all videos that we watch through from top to bottom that are family friendly, um, especially for the younger adults that we have in the group. Um, there are various games that you can play on here. These do not change, they stay the same. But again, it's just between you and your profile. No one sees what you're doing. It's, um, it's a personal thing. So again, um, this is a really exciting time for us here. I'm super excited that you're joining us on the LifeFile platform. Any questions you have regarding LifeFile, please let me know. If you have any questions regarding the setup, we do have a blog that has a knowledge base for you to um, check out any frequently asked questions. And that would be blog.lifepal.com. On the knowledge base, there are some questions that have already been answered regarding how to use the, the platform. Okay, so again, super excited for you to be here. We look forward to interacting with you on the platform. And God bless.